Hi, my name is Randy, and welcome to Cowley's Tech Talk. This month, we're going to be talking about stinging insects. To stinging insects. There are solitary stinging insects and social stinging insects. The major difference between the two is when you're dealing with a solitary insect, for instance carpenter bees, um, they bore into a hole and there's only one bee per hole. Mud daubers, mud daubers tend to build a nest on concrete. Your digger bees typically are hovering low, low to the ground and they build little mounds and typically people think they're ant mounds until they get closer and see a bunch of bees hovering. Um, cicada killers, uh, they tend to be very big and they tend to be very intimidating, uh, but not to worry about them because although they do sting, they have to be extremely provoked. Now when dealing with social insects, that means there's more than one to a colony. There's many. Uh, typically a hornet's nest, which is a social colony, uh, can build up to 700 workers by the end and yellow jackets up to 4,000 workers by the end of the season. Um, these guys tend to be very, very aggressive, especially when you go to mess around with their nest. Some of the treatment options we do here at Cali's as far as taking care of um, nests uh, will vary. When dealing with a nest that is high in a tree, we utilize an aerosol flusher. We can actually attach it to an extendable pole. This makes it safe for the technician. By simply pulling on the string, it releases the product into the nest. Once the product penetrates the nest, it will then eliminate it in a safe manner. When dealing with a ground nest, we utilize a dust application. The dust will then spread its way through the voids and attach itself to the bees. Once the bees go to groom themselves, the colony will then be eliminated. I have been in the pest industry for over 18 years. Along those 18 years, I have been a technician, a sales representative, um, service manager, and now an operations manager. So I do attend uh, many seminars and classes during the year to make sure that my um, knowledge on insects of all kinds are up to date uh, so I can utilize them here at Cowley's. Thank you for tuning in to this month's Tech Talk.